Folks, today we're gonna to be talking about 51550, an auditor that I only recently discovered. And at first I wanted to like her, I really did. She did a, uh, a cop watch where she you know, saw police doing their thing, she went out, she got a camera, and she filmed them. That's fine, when I was a police officer working with the, you know, the Army as military police, people filmed me. I had no problem with that because I should be held to a standard. And someone's gonna say, oh, but you're not allowed to film on a base. Well, unless the base commander approves it. The base commander basically told the MPs uh, through various issuances of paperwork that we had to read that yes, you can be filmed unless you have very specific things behind you, in which case, just say no, it's fine. We're not gonna get into that discussion right now. The base commander approved it, that means the filming was lawful, not in violation of 18 U.S.C. 795, but that's not what this video is about. It's about First Amendment auditing in Little Rock, Arkansas in 51550. So she did a fine cop watch, and I was like, oh, great. This auditor's pretty chill. Cool. But then I saw her audits, and I was like, oh, this auditor has no idea what she's doing. Absolutely not a clue. And I figured I, I really need to make this video not to, to be upset at her being stupid, which is what my last two were about, because the people were, were beyond help. I think she is not. I think she can be fixed so that she doesn't end up uh, in jail because of some stupid mistake because she didn't know better. A lot of these newer auditors, I don't know how new she is, I just know that I hadn't heard of her uh, up until like a couple months ago. A lot of them don't know because they're getting information from the old auditors whose business model is basically just, you know, yell at police officers to make money as opposed to actually audit to hold the police accountable. So maybe it's just a bad game of telephone, she's getting bad information. I can help you, 5150, and I would love to help you. And if you wanna reach out to me and ask specific questions before an audit, uh, sergeantbluebacon at gmail.com, okay? I'm here to help. A lot of auditors don't think that, but uh, truly. So she has, uh, when was this? This was December 9th. Uh, in Little Rock, at the Little Rock Police Department, Southwest Division, it says, Owned, arrogant, egotistical officer grabs my wrists. Intimidation tactics. First Amendment audit. Fail. Unfortunately for her, the only fail was her behavior, not the officer's. So we're going to jump right into this. And uh, I'm going to stop occasionally so that you guys can understand exactly what's happening. All right, the only thing that she's doing is wandering around the police station filming. Okay, well, if no one stops her, cool. Now, they can stop her, not for filming necessarily, but for not being in the police station with a you know, legitimate purpose. Now, just being, you know, exercising your First Amendment right is not necessarily a legitimate purpose because this is not a traditional public forum. This is a non-public forum. It is open to the public for a very specific reason. So, if you want to film, fine, as long as you are also conducting police business. This is why a lot of auditors will file information requests while they uh, go and film in a police station, because that way they can't get kicked out for just loitering the police station. I don't think she knows this. I think she thinks that her right to film allows her just to be anywhere, really. Uh, and we're going to talk about that later in this video. It does become very, very relevant. Right now, it's only kind of relevant, so I'm going to hold off on that information for right now. We're going to keep watching. All right, pause <laughs> real quick. There is a sign above this truck, which is a Ram 1500. It doesn't really matter. Um, that sign says, don't enter for police personnel only she enters that area. That's a problem for obvious reasons because it's off limits to her. Uh, that's a trespass. We will discuss what the trespass situation is in just a bit. I just want to point that out right there uh, above the hood of the truck. You can't read it. Don't worry. I will get that for you. We will look it up together, see exactly what it says. I just want you to know that it's there, okay? Okay, great, let's keep going. All right, right now she has entered the parking lot that she's not supposed to be in.
this car followed me and took a picture of my license plate. I'm pretty sure it was this car. And is that illegal? Well, no. If she can film this license plate, why wouldn't whoever's in here be able to take a picture of hers? In fact, neither of them are wrong for doing it, for the filming. Uh, she is wrong for being where she is in filming. Uh, but the actual filming and photography, not really an issue because there's no expectation of privacy for the exterior of a vehicle. It's not like with a house you have a lawn, which is called a curtilage, I believe. Let me check that. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's, it's curtilage. All right. There isn't anything like that for a car. So filming the exterior of it is not a problem. Filming inside of it often isn't even a problem, although there are restrictions to that that can be, uh, can be a problem. We're not gonna get into that. That's a topic for a different video. But right now what she's doing, if she was on actual public property and not just what she thinks is public property, this would be fine. Taking pictures of the license plate is fine. Cool. We're gonna keep going. Ma'am, this area is dropped by Fish Mill only. I can video anywhere here, and the guy told me to park right there. Okay, uh, first of all, no. No, no. You can't video anywhere you want. You can video from actual public property. That's it. She sort of explains the situation from what I can tell, and she'll say, I just want to put it out there right now to alleviate any confusion up until that point. It appears that she got permission to park in that parking lot uh, from someone at the front desk, although the front desk appears to be closed, so I don't know who she got it from. Uh, maybe she called ahead or called in and said, hey, uh, there's nowhere to park. Uh, can I park in your back lot? If she got permission, we're going to give her the benefit of the doubt that she got permission. If she did, that's fine. But that permission extends to her parking and then leaving, going into the police station for whatever business, leaving the police station, getting her car and leaving. It does not give her permission to stay in the area and film. That would be absurd and it would be unreasonable to think that. So now she's just been told you can't be wandering around filming. Uh, well, she's about to be told all of that. She's been told that it's off limits to her and she's trying to explain. But... No, she has not been given permission to be around there and film, which brings us into certain case law that's very, very relevant. And there are two cases I'm going to say that are going to pop up, and I'll keep reminding you, I'm sure. The first one is going to be Brandsburg versus Hayes, which essentially establishes that the press does not have the right to access an area that is not open to the public, with very few exceptions at which point the public would also have the right to access it, to film, to document, to petition the government to redress their grievances. Someone taking a picture of her license plate is not grounds for you know that kind of exception. So no, she does not have the right to access this area because she is a member of the press. The second one is, this area isn't public. She thinks it's public, but it's not. It is owned by the government that does not make it public property in the sense of the public can just access it. In fact, we have a Supreme Court case, uh, Greensboro Council of Civic Associations versus the United States Postal Service, uh, I believe, is what that one is. But it essentially states that just because property is owned by the government does not mean it is open to the public. This is a great situation. We're just, just, it's, it's not. There are signs. An officer has just told you. I'm going to get further into that because that comes back into the trespassing thing. So hold your hats, folks. Okay, well, come here. Let me show you something. What? Just tell me what it is. I don't need to follow you. I read that, and the guy told me I could park right there, and I can video anywhere here. Okay, and much sooner than I expected, we're actually at the trespass part. So there are a few ways you can be trespassed. We're gonna talk about two of them. The first is with a sign. So if I put no trespassing signs all over my property and someone enters my property, hey, guess what? Should have seen the sign. I don't need to then give you a verbal warning for me to call the police and have you arrested for trespassing, right? There are signs there. She has now admitted that she has read them. That's a problem for her because it weakens her legal defense. The second thing, the second way I could trespass you in this situation is by giving you a verbal warning saying, hey, you're trespassing, you need to leave, at which point you need to leave or else you're breaking the law. She has now received both. 
and she is still failing to leave. She is absolutely at this point trespassing, and if she was arrested for trespassing at this point, I, I, don't, I don't think she'd be able to win that court case. I really don't. So that's a problem for her. We've already established that just because it is government property is not open up to the public. We've already established that the press does not have the right to access an area uh, that is greater than the general public's right to do so. And yes, she is a member of the press. She has an audience to deliver a message to, which uh, is Hurley versus Irish American gay, lesbian, bisexual group from Boston. That's the Supreme Court case on that. So yes, she technically meets that criteria because the criteria for a member of the press is, is pretty relaxed and that's intentional so as not to limit the freedom of press. But right now she is trespassing, she is breaking the law and she does not realize it and she is fighting it. And this is very good information for you to have 5150 Please use it for your future audits. Please. No, this is public. This is. That's another trespass order or warning, whichever. Legal defense is slipping real hard right now. Public property. And the reason I came back. And again, just because it's owned by the government does not mean you get to access it. We've already covered that. Here is because someone followed me and came and took a picture of my license plate when I. That's not illegal. That's, you went and filmed their license plate. They took a picture of yours. If you think you are being stalked or harassed, uh, there are generally a couple elements. One, that it has to be someone repeatedly following you. And if they only did it once, that's not repeatedly. And two, it has to put you in reasonable fear for your safety or life or the safety of others. A picture of a license plate does not meet that criteria unless you can establish that it was taken by someone who means to do you harm. Just because you suspect them being a police officer does not mean they mean to do you harm. That is not a defense or an argument that's going to be accepted in court. I Well, maybe, but highly unlikely. That would be a, a real Hail, Hail Mary there. Goodness. So, I it's not, the, the, the picture's fine. If they can take a picture and she can film, you know, you don't, you don't get to accuse other people of doing a thing that you are also doing. I mean, you can, but it just, it's so hypocritical. I don't, I don't get it. And I left here. This is public property. I have a First Amendment right to video and photograph. Okay, she has a First Amendment right to video and uh, photograph. Just not while she's on that specific part of the property. The video. This property, man. And now he's given her another trespass warning. He's even pointed where she should go. She's not figuring it out. I'm, I'm getting a little heated watching it. I, I have a first amendment right to be here. Like you I can walk in the lobby. Right, right to be out for front. Someone told me I could. You need to quit. Why are you getting so close to me? I can explain why he's getting so close because she's being given lawful orders to leave and she is not doing it. So the officer is using his presence to walk towards her. She steps back until she is off the part of the property she cannot be on and then he'll stop. That makes sense because she is refusing to obey the law. None of this should be confusing. Why are you... I'm backing up from you. Okay. I'm trying to get you to... She should be backing up so that she's not trespassing. A weird concept I know. Back up that way. No. I can walk anywhere on no, here. It's a can't. First Amendment right. It is not. Yeah, I can. And I parked here with permission. Again, that permission was to park, not to stand around and film. It wasn't like, oh, I parked, I took a quick video of a car, and then I left. It was, I parked, went into the police station, walked back out, wandered around a bunch. You didn't get permission to do that. Unless I'm wrong and you have video of that, which I'd love to see. Pretty sure you weren't given that permission. Someone told me to. Okay. When well, I didn't that pass that someone sign. was wrong. It was an officer. Was it you who told me I could park there? One of the officers just told me to when I pulled over there because I didn't want to go past that sign. Yeah, you can't. But I can take there, I can take pictures and video. So there, there was a place to park, I guess, and she just didn't want to park there? Okay, and if she got permission to park from an officer, okay, cool. That's fine, yeah, go, yeah. That isn't permission, again, 
<laughs> keep repeating myself because it keeps coming up. That's not permission to film. Yeah, all on this property I can. I can go in the lobby and do it, and I can do it right here. And okay. I can take video you of can, you. You can do it out there. I can, can do, do it from... anywhere on this property. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. You need to walk that way. I, I, this is a First Amendment right here. No, it's not. You know, also... The First Amendment right is out there. No, it's not. Okay, so what he's doing, he's pointing out, hey... That sidewalk over there, that's a traditional public forum. You have the First Amendment right to film from there. This is not a public area for the public, right? It is called a public public property because it's owned by the government. That does not mean it is open to the public for use. A lot of auditors get that confused. That parking lot is off limits. Stay out of it. You do not have a First Amendment right to access it. From the sidewalk, you can film. That's a traditional public forum. It is open to the public for various First Amendment activities. Supreme Court, a lot of courts, courts all over the place have basically said, yep, sidewalks are good to go. There are limitations on that. But for the most part, do it there. But of course, she can't see the, the car that took pictures because she can't see it from the sidewalk. So she decides to break the law, which I don't even know if she realizes. Uh, because she might, she might know. I might just be making this video for no reason, right? She might know and she just doesn't care. I would like to help with this. But if she just doesn't care and she hopes these officers don't know enough, that's a problem. If she doesn't know, that's also a problem. I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm just, I'm just frustrated. That's going to be the end of part one in the interest of time. I am splitting this into two sections. So part two will have the conclusion. It'll have more of me getting upset at her. And we'll put the actual sign in that one. We'll look it up and see what it actually says at the uh, on the parking lot that says, like, don't enter. So uh, stick around for that one. Until the next time, be good. Stay safe.